All right, the map is Mall of the Dead, and we are the red player. It is Fog of War in capitals. These are the bonuses. This blizzard doesn't do much. This blizzard doesn't do much. Nor does this one, nor does this one, nor does this one. This one makes this into a one-point hold. That's really nice. For It's only plus four, though. This blizzard doesn't do a whole lot. Actually, it makes it harder to hold the music area. This person can easily take the music area away from whoever holds this. So that's not a good spot to go for, but apart from that, the blizzards aren't insanely impactful. Uh, do we go for the grocers? I don't love that. We have a lot over in the business corner. We only have one down here. Uh, we're mostly over in here. I could cap... I could cap here, push back into the bridge, which is a one, two... Oh, this bridge doesn't make that any less because it connects over here. So it's a one, two, three point hold for plus ten. I could try, and if and and if somebody else takes it, I can. And if somebody else takes that, I I have I have options. This cap could either go for this and push four for attacking, or push back into this and push four for attacking this way. It's like that's a good cap. It gives me two choices. This gives you the choice of this place. This and this give you the choice of this place. Same with this in here. This one can give you either or. This one can give you either or, but I, th I think this one's good. So we know where green's at. I don't see too many other capitals. Magenta's over here. Magenta here. Green here. So that just leaves blue and orange. I don't know where they are. Maybe I can figure out by, like, what we see in the board here. Hmm. Where? Okay, so orange is probably down here. People will tend to take actions. Wherever they put their cap is typically where they take their first actions, usually, so orange probably down there. Alright, um, can I get this in a single turn? I have my doubts, but I can, I can, at the very least, I can scout out a little bit. We put these over here, so one, two, three, everybody but green knows my cap pull is over here, so let's attack from here into here. Gain vision, that is tragic. Tragic, 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 but this is why we left the reverse plan of being able to go the other direction. Now we know where orange is. No, no, wait, or so orange is up here, but they attack down here for card arts. So yeah, sometimes they'll throw you for a, a little trick there, but now we know. Now we know, and here's the problem. We're both positioned very nicely to break each other. And they're first in turn order. But I've got more stacks on my castle to capital than they do. I feel like neither orange or myself are gonna have a territory unless we form an alliance. Oh. But the problem is they're first in the turn order. I think I don't want them to hold... I, I, I do not let them get their bonus before me, period. I do not let Orange get their bonus before me, period, because they're first in the turn order. If they get their bonus and get a plus 10 before I do on their turn go, they'll just break me and never let me hold a bonus ever. I don't let them hold that either. Okay, green attacked us out of there. They'd be going for that plus four in the grocers, perhaps. Eight troops over there for magenta. Eight for you. Capital mode is kind of usually seven by default. Even if you only have like one territory, it's you get actually it could be like what three for your default, two for the cap is five. It's five at the lowest. You just had 15 territories to give you extra rights. 18? I don't know. We've been pushed out of the furniture zone. Bad maths with CGs. Can I just hold my capital here and try for a, a different territory? I wish I knew where blue was. Could I try and grab the clothing district? It's 10 territories to hold. I could try for the entrance. I only need to hold... I already have three of them. I only need to grab six more. Honestly, I could try and grab... I could just try and grab this. It is a three-point defense right next to Magenta. That's not great. But Orange is literally right here. And I still need to get eight more territories over here. And I don't even know what's over here. For all I know, there's a blue capital right there. Stacking five right there, going over there. Hmm, interesting strategy. They're So they're stacking their cap and they're trying to grab just territories over there. They're not worried about getting a bonus. Hmm, it's a tough one, tough one. Maybe I just gradually try for this. It's so long to get it. I would get this one sooner gradually, but Magenta doesn't let us hold. I don't, hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think we, I think we just slowly work down here. I don't think we are going to be getting any early bonuses, unfortunately, because uh, just really bad luck of our positioning here. So we instead, come on, fortify. Wait, does this not reach? Does not reach, okay. 
We'll just keep working down here. Gain vision on the board, take other people's vision away. Five over there. Blue's probably over here. It's really bad luck that Orange Cap's inside of there. And they're playing weird. They're playing very they're playing very defensive. Oranges, which means if I rush for a bonus and spend a bunch of my troops getting a quick bonus here or here, their 14 is just free to just like roll and break me, or they stack down here and break me. Like in their first and turn or plus 10 for green means they have the plus four from the grocers. Okay. They're doing well over there. They're doing well in the grocers. What can I do here? What can I do? Just very slowly work for a bonus. Try to deny other people their bonuses. I can make sure that nobody gets a bonus here, 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 or here. Like that is like most of the big bonuses apart from food court. So people getting a plus four, I don't know. I mean, this this guy will keep whoever's over here from getting a plus six unless they go for the plus six. We can just try for like an early game where we try to deny other people bonuses while we kind of like work on getting bored knowledge of who's doing what where. And then eventually try and secure something for ourselves, maybe. Maybe try simply getting more lucky yet. That is an option. <laughs> that is a choice. I need orange. I need to figure out what orange's game plan is long term. Also, I, I could just try having just just uh, try holding more territories to get more uh, troops coming in. Would not be terrible. I could try and kill guard somebody somewhere. Where can I get a kill guard? I could get a kill guard on blue. Maybe. I don't know. Looks like orange just wants to stack cap and slowly grab territories, and I'm just kind of copying right now because I'm I can't hold a I can't hold a bonus against somebody who has 18 an 18 cap next to it. So, not a great option. They're doing, they're getting it very slowly. I think I want to grab things a little bit faster than they are. Let's put, oh, oh, I don't want to go too crazy down here though. Let's start getting some stuff up here. Put one up here. I want to get more territories for more bonuses to kind of like speed things along here. And one there. I can always fortify most of these back over to this. I want more territories for more bonuses. And you can hit over this. If I take away their orange territories, they get some less. Purple's got a... Purple? Yeah, purple's got a lot over here. Let's fortify oh, this over to here, I suppose. 16 territories helps. It all adds up. You're only getting plus 5, which means you don't have that many territories over there, blue. But they're pushing pretty hard for that plus 9. Because they don't have anybody's cap on their border, I don't think. Unless Magenta capped here. I forget. Magento's somewhere over here. I think Magento's up here, right? I don't remember. But if they get that plus nine bonus, well, they're mostly going to be going through green there, magenta here, orange here. I'm pretty far away from that plus nine. So as long as I stop anybody from getting 10, eight, seven, six, that's not good. I don't like that green stacked 12 over there. Not a fan of that. That's actually a pretty good play on their part. Ooh, they went in to break magenta. Okay, maybe we stop messing around with this, all right? <laughs> uh, focus over here. Focus over here. I wasn't expecting green to drop in here and slam through the, us like that. All right, so Magenta's not looking in too strong of a position, getting broken by green. Green is a, the biggest threat right now. They've had a bonus for a while. Um, blue's gonna be a threat, but green getting their bonus early is kind of good because well, orange and blue might deal with them. I don't like that. I'm just kind of stalemating with orange right now. I also don't like that Magenta's got this 3, 2, 2, and 2, and 1 in my air area. Knowing that green likes to do that, I'm almost tempted to attack this 1 and push them out of here. How many troops did you get? Nobody's lost a capital yet. You got 5 troops. They're going to keep doing their thing here. They've put 1, get territory. They're, they're gradually... Are they trying to very slowly grab this plus 7 clothing district? There's no way they let you hold that. No, they're just going... They just, they just want to get cards. They're just getting cards. They're... They're a very patient player. They're like, I don't care about bonuses kind of player. Okay. I don't want to lose vision down here, but I also don't want to waste troops down there. Um, I think we start pushing Magenta out of here. And I want to hold more territories that people are less inclined to come up in an attack. I want... There we go. Get them out of there. Still got 25 stacked there. 22. That's okay. I like that. Now, six for blue. You don't have this bonus yet. You're about to hit my two out of there. 
That's fine. We know what's going on here. Blue has most of this. Possibly soon be all of it. That's fine. We've got 14 territories. I'd like to get that to be 15 or 18, but we got attacked a bunch down here. I should just focus up here and cleaning this up. Who knows? Maybe eventually I can hold... Maybe eventually I get a trust exercise the orange. Let them have that plus 10. And I get this plus 8. But they're first in the turn order. But if... I mean, if green becomes a monster on the board... I just let orange have the, the, the plus 10 first in the card order and just do a trust exercise with them. That's probably the best play, honestly. Grab my bonus. And... Uh, I can even test the waters before I even get it. I can kind of just like hit that fortify back, see if Orange, and Orange might think, he's got the bonus now. See if Orange breaks me or not, right? We'll see. Or Orange might not want to break because they might want to have a clear path into going through me for eliminations. Hard to say. You are attacking a bunch down there. Magenta, alright. You didn't pay attention. You started with three troops. Did you card trade? No. You're doing a lot of attacking over there. Is anybody bought it out? I don't think so, right? Everybody still here? Everybody still here. Doing much attack. Are you trying to push green out of there so you can hold on to your stuff? Maybe. If we could get green pinned over here where their only option to go out is through blue, that'd be really good for everybody but blue and green. Now that I think about it. That'd be really good for all of us. I think we work towards that. Um, not this turn, though. Um, I think... Well, just in case somebody wants to attack this, we're going to do this here. Actually, I can do it this turn. I am going to hit green here. Hit here. We're going to fortify uh, this back over to here. In case orange wants to break me. Right? I do want to get this out of there, though. And now green's not in here. Hopefully they're not in here. I don't know if they're still in here or not. I, you know what? Orange probably has kill guards and people back here. I think going for eliminations is a very risky play, because Orange could easily have a kill guard on one or two people back here if they haven't, like, fought amongst each other. So that's actually pretty dangerous, right? What if Orange is actually, like, a very good player? What if they're extremely good and they cap this here, not actually planning to go for it, but planning to cap, just, like, kill guard one or two players back there? Probably one, because they probably attack out each other, right? Hmm... So going for, like, going for elimination is very risky. Because kill guards, who knows what's going on with those. I think we probably want to go for bonuses to get strong as opposed to kills because anybody I try to go to get a kill on, I could easily fail and they could be kill guarded back here. So it's going to be about just sitting back, getting your bonuses, getting strong, trying to expand. What are you up to there? Attack, you're attacking in. Was green in there, or did blue come through and break you? Is blue trying to kill guard me over here? I think blue's trying to kill guard me right here, instead of going their plus nine bonus. They can take me out there, right? I think going for bonus would be better. Does anybody even have any bonuses yet? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Green, obviously. Green getting that bonus is good, but they're spending a lot of their troops fighting magenta. So it kind of evens out. We got 15 territories. One extra troop would be nice. Three there for you. You're probably attacking down in there. They like keeping that cap of your health. You're, they like keeping their cap healthy. They can't see what my cap is anymore. You can, though. I need to get that out of there. Plus, seven. they didn't try to break me. Card trade on five force here. Is that the wild? I'd rather not use the wild. Let's use the three dudes. And... Oh, ooh, it occurs to me I could get this soon. I th Hold on, does this... How does this... Who does this connect to? That connects up to there. All right. Um, so if we do six here, we can hit this, do that. Oh, you six here. You hit this, you hit this, you hit this. And then we have what we want and safety. And we can attack here. We can attack here. I doubt we hold this, but it's worth a shot. Uh, they didn't break us last time, right? And then we fortify this three out of there. And we got the bonus. Maybe Orange lets us hold. Maybe. They didn't attack us last turn. Even if they do break us and hit one. I still have 17 territories, right? Grads are working holding more territories. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tiny. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Eight for Blue. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, I don't know if I said this video already or not, but we're streaming this live on twitch.tv slash CGPlaysLive. If I can remember my own thing. 
Are you going to finally push me out of there and get your plus nine bonus? Yeah, I feel like that plus nine bonus is worth far more to you than a, um, uh, than a, uh, maybe elimination like ten rounds from now, right? Surprised they didn't go for that sooner. Maybe that was like the last piece in their puzzle towards getting their plus nine bonus, and they'll have it next turn. That's fine. Three point hold for me? Yeah, it's a, or is it? Ooh, toll for you, getting more territories. It's a one, two, three. Um, if I push down into here, clear out this, and yeah, three. So I can, if yeah, I can move down to here because I normally have to defend this and this, but I can just move down to here, this into here, and clear that out and just hold right here. And then it's a one, two, three, four point hold. But if I move this and hit here, 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 and stack here. It's even less of a point hole. I don't really want to. I mean, it's it's uh, yeah. I mean, I think I think it's effectively a one point hole, a two point hold. Stack my cap, stack over here, push blue out there. And hope orange doesn't break me because orange is the only one who can come through. Once the blue's out of here, orange is the only one that can go through here or through here. His orange cap, orange's cap is protecting me from all this. This blizzard protects me from all of this and this and this. So, as long as Orange and I have an alliance of sorts, all I gotta do is protect my cap so he can't yoink my cap, and uh, stack over here for anybody who want to come through this way. The alliance between Orange and I benefits us both. I'm surprised they're not trying to grab their bonus and not trying to break mine. And they don't know I have mine yet. Maybe they realize that the two of us having an alliance and working together is actually better for both of us than the two of us going to war while they get big across the board. They're stacking there. Do they break me? Or do they go for some, something across the board? Mm, they're attacking somewhere. If they break me, we don't retaliate. We just kind of accept that they won't let us hold a bonus. But they're not breaking us, which is great. Appreciate that. 15 troops for us. Now they know I have the bonus. Um, I do want to get blue out of there so they can't come through that way. That would be good. I mean, the two of us could kill guard blue, but I don't... I'd just... Blue could easily get a big bonus there and break me. I don't love that idea. Uh, so we're going to stack the rest over to here. We are going to push blue out of this region. And then we're... I don't want to... You know what? I don't want to attack oranges three, but I also want to uh, be over here and not let anybody mess. I mean, I don't have to get that this turn. That's fine. I can wait. We fortify this over down into here. Hopefully orange doesn't get upset about me attacking their three. If they do, they might break me. Ah, it's just a three, right? Who knows? Friends call you Shaggy. First time catching a stream. Hello, welcome, welcome. All right. So I've got three and a four here. I'd eventually like to forward, uh, uh, fortify forward. This map's got a bunch of little spots we've got to attack in, leave three and fortify it over. We're going to have a bunch of threes scattered across the board. Blue's doing some exploring. How many troops did you have, Blue? Six. You don't have your bonus. Plus 19 for green is terrifying. Green has this. They were getting like, what, 11 or 12? And they have also the furniture zone, or do they have the entrance? Either way, it's scary. I think Orange is sitting back waiting to get an elimination for cards down here. I think, I mean, in progressive, bonuses are not the be all end all. Orange can sit back here, let us all fight, be peaceful and passive, and then, like, you know, steal a kill from their kill guard back here, you know. Um, from somebody, somebody else does all the work to kill and they just clean it up and then if the card bonus is big that compensates for most of the bonuses that they missed not having I do think it's crazy that they're not uh, breaking this is maybe orange is fighting green no they're putting most of their troops on their cap they're mostly just put like like here's a thing down here there's there's their card trading down here effectively is what they're doing is orange a bot no trying to run away from green this is rain free for all right yes Plus five for orange. I'm worried this is the only thing they have down here for getting territories, and they've been pushed out of here. To be fair, I don't mind card trading with them around here. They can, you know, hit these, and I can occasionally... I'll card trade with you over here all day. That's fine. That's fine by me. Actually, what am I talking about? They just go out this way and hit people over here, right? Ten there. And five somewhere else. They do have something else where... Do I... Oh, oh hello. Hi. Okay, so orange is hanging out over here. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. We seem to have like, like an unspoken alliance, whatever. It's fine. 
We're chilling. We have we have an unspoken alliance with orange. We're chilling. We're vibing. Nice elimination on magenta from the orange player. And that will make up for the fact that they don't have... Because I've got 67 troops. They've got 54 there, plus a 10 stack there. They are they are already even on I me. Mean, I've only had this bonus not very long. I'm attacking a bunch. They turn that card trade, and they're kind of like ahead of us, right? Um, do I trade them four for safety? I don't think I need to. I think I'd rather wait for a bigger bonus. Um, Because they can't eliminate me, right? I mean, he could trade in for... he trade. These guys don't trade. He trades in for 20. Let's say they two trade. He trades in for 30, 80... He could yoink my cap if I don't trade. For safety, we have to trade, unfortunately. Can't take the risk. And we put this up to... Oh, 50, I'd say. These go down here. And then we hit this over like so. Leave three. Fortify these back over down to here. Move the four, I guess, a bit better. Right. All right. So... I would say orange, because of that kill, is actually now ahead of us on... Uh, tr once they turn in their five cards, they're going to be ahead of us on troops. I think it's... Uh, green might be in first place, troops-wise. Once orange takes their turn, it'll be them, and then maybe me. And then... Or, like, myself and blue are kind of close. Blue hasn't held a territory yet. I've had it for a couple turns. Hmm. Fun fact, after World War II, German soldiers recycled their helmets into kitchenware. Huh, the more you know. Fun fact. Right, let's keep on. I mean, I could effectively keep this stack right here and kill guard green and orange. I don't think orange. I think I think orange is probably probably an expert or higher based on how they're playing. If you see somebody who like just does not care about going for bonuses when playing, you know, fog of war caps progressive, usually it's expert or higher. Typically speaking, not always, but quite often, quite often, at least half the time, right? Because newer players, you know, begin novice, beginners, intermediates usually are like. Even if it's progressive, we're all about, you know, bonuses, bonuses, bonuses. Like me, you know, bonuses, bonuses, bonuses. The reason why I go for bonuses and progressives is because, one, it's just more fun to play that way. It's more fun to watch. And even if, like, what this guy's doing is, like, a better strategy, I'm just going to sit on my cap and go for eliminations or card trade or whatever and never hold a bonus. Like, even if this is, like, the slightly more optimal way to play progressive Fog of War caps, I find it dreadfully boring, and so I choose not to do it. And... Realistically, the, the best way to play is just to go for bonuses and hope to get away with it. Like, on average, this will win you more matches. But when you go this way, yeah, maybe you win 10% less matches. But when you do, oh boy, it's better. Green is botting out. They bought out and the bot traded in their cards right at the end. Oh, green bought out. Green left became a bot. Why? You were doing really well. Green bots, why? Did blue break you? You trade in for 35. So, orange, so now that green is a bot, orange is going to be the strongest player. All right. I'm not going to kill guard the bot when the card trades are like 35 or whatever. Because um, what will happen is if these guys push green out of here and I don't realize it, and they card trade for like 40 right here. Well, I'm in a lot of, a lot of pain here. Um, so that's not so great for us. So we are going to, just gonna, oh, a few more here in our cap. I think you figure how many I put there by how many I put over here, right? And I'm gonna hit this one for now. Green can't card trade yet, so I'm not worried about it yet. But as soon as like they're able to, like they're gonna get dealt with. I should do the four because it's more. Or two here, thank you. All right, we need to Plus, oh, it's plus 16 for blue. See, here my hope, here is my hope, is that me and orange keep getting along, and the fact that blue, like, I'm, I'm hoping orange and blue fight each other or something. Have I ever played any D&D? &D? Uh, I think I tried it once in high school with some guys, like a, like a single session, and I was immediately like, nah, not interested in it. I think it's mostly just because, like, the DM was a guy that, like, I don't know, he, I didn't like his vibes, so I just kind of dipped bad first impression, I guess. All right. So we are... Ooh, the bot's still doing all right over there. Maybe I should push them out sooner because they might... Uh, I mean, I'm going to want to push out them this turn and then go out this way. I don't love the idea of feeding the green kill to somebody else, but I just... I don't really like the idea of kill guarding a bot that card trades. Wait, they're taking a long time. Did green come back? No. All right. 
yeah, I think we slowly work through this, and we like we take our time on this one. This is a this is a be patient kind of match. Because orange is playing very patient, blue was playing very patient. Don't know why green left. Maybe their internet's like died on them or something. I feel like green was doing fine. Maybe something happened. They got broke. I didn't realize. No, no troops. Maybe because they're pinned back there. Five for orange. You you became a DM. Cool. Five troops for orange. The fact that I'm getting more, I'm like this this plus eight per turn. The fact that I have like twenty territories. And you probably have less. Is going to slowly catch me up into troops. But if they then proceed to eliminate green, that's gonna give me even another advantage. Um, do we push green out here now? I mean, I'm gonna want to go for it anyways, right? Yeah, we might as well do it now, right? I'm not gonna cartridge right here because I feel relatively safe. I should put some of my capital there, but it'll be okay. We'll feed the green kill to somebody else, probably. I just can't risk them getting a card trade and slamming me from behind. So I want to move forward eventually here. Let's fortify this uh, back into my capital. I want to keep moving my way forward here and have this one big stack able to, like, move forward. Nine troops for blue means that somebody broke them, quite possibly the bot. Maybe the bot moved off cap or something and attacked through here. No, the cap bot's cap. Where's the bot cap? I don't remember where it's at. It's really cool to feed the bot as much information as you want. What? Oh, there's a channel on Twitch playing, testing a D&D bot called... Helps me read the, all three messages, not just the last one. Reading messages out of order with CG plays. All right, so how do we, like, move ourselves into a better winning position? It's wild that Orange just doesn't break me. I think the reason Orange isn't breaking me is because once they break me, I'm not going to reclaim that because they'll just keep breaking me. They want to be able, they want their cat to be able to move in any direction, and that's why they're not breaking me, 100%. They want to be able to go this way. They want to be able to go that way. They want to be able to go this way, or... They're not breaking me because they don't want to start a grudge match with somebody right next to them. Because they, they would have a grudge match with me while also going, you know, while somebody else gets strong over here. So one or both of those reasons is why they're not messing with us. Ten troops for green. They still have that plus four bonus. All right. I got the blizzard there. Do I try and just go ahead and grab this clothing district quicker? Depends how many troops I have to carve through to get it. It is a two-point hold. Actually, no, if I take it all this, hit this, hit this, it's a one-point hold with like a 50 stack. And it interrupts any bit for having that bonus. Five troops for you. Do I rush for that? I don't know. I mean, I've got a 54 stack. It depends how many like troops I see hanging around. I mean, I could just keep card trading in here. They're stacking on their caps some more. Still player, still player. You might hear some traffic outside. 40 troop trade in. Green's a bot. They're gone. So, yep, nothing's changed. They're finally going to break me. They're finally going to break me. Okay. They're going to... Or, no, no, they're not breaking me. They're, they're, they're scouting. They're looking around for something to do. Okay. So, what we do is we never grab this. They're going to break me? Could have done it right here. That's fine. Yeah, it's probably about time they break me, right? Move back. Fortify back to your cap. They're claiming their plus 10 bonus. That's cool. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Um... They can have their plus 10. They get plus 10. I get plus 8. That's fine. I'm cool with that. And we stack more here for defense. They were thinking about taking me, but I wasn't showing much weakness. I think we go down here and do some work. I mean, if they could always want to break from behind, they, they could. That's a 13 stack. That's the bot. Do I really want to mess with the bot? I don't know that I do. I'm going to hold the bot. We're not going to go for it this turn. We're going to hope the bot does something else elsewhere. I'm going to stack it right here just in case the bot trades on three stacks most of it there. I just need to kind of push that bot elsewhere. You got plus 16, which means you have your plus nine over here again. Okay. All right. Let's just take our time. Don't know why Orange just let me hold this bonus. Don't know why they took so long to go for theirs, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, I think they do have most of their troops on their capital. 45 troop trade in from blue. I got a force trade on five here. They can't eliminate me though, fortunately. You finally catch a stream. Hey, wonder how you doing? Welcome, welcome. All right, so I don't think we rush for the clothing district. Now that orange has that plus 10, I feel like our troop income is going to be, I mean, it's still slightly my favorite thing. I've got more territories. I'm a little more vulnerable. I mean, this alliance we have is kind of great between the two of us. 
They could slam my plus 8, soon to be plus 15 if I get this. I could break their plus 10. I don't have to worry about them pushing up this way. Ooh, the bot did stack there, and they put it all there. They might take that 50 v 52. I might need to gradually move away from this bot. That's a problem. I don't know why this bot loves this spot right here. I think we may need to gradually move. Please don't attack my 52. Please. You're kidding me. They stacked it all. I should have fortified away. I can't believe the bots stacked everything there and hit my 52. Nobody else saw it but me, but that's... I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And it won, too. I, sh I should have... As soon as I, I knew... A car traded on three, and put it there, and went for me. That's... that's... that's emotional damage. We can recover from this, but I need blue and orange to go to war. Car trades help, too. 57 car trade is actually massive for us. Well, now there's no reason not to kind of, uh... You know, go for this, right? And, uh... Oh, an orange saw it happen, too. Oh, they know. All right, well, let's, uh... Orange is over here. All right, well, maybe we don't bother then. Wait, hold on. Are you... Ah, uh, you have a path over that way. Let's fortify this back over here, make them think it was a misclick or something. I need to, like... I need to maneuver... Ooh, plus 25 for blue is huge. I need to maneuver the bot into attacking orange or blue, but not me. That is rough, though. I mean, green's not gonna have a whole lot left here. I could try... I bet, I bet you're kill guarding green, maybe, right? It depends. Did you get a... Is your, the 15 troops total means you have this plus 10 bonus. They don't have a kill guard on anybody back there. Blue has a kill guard on green. Blue has a kill guard on green back here. If we push green out of here, green has nothing to do but stack back here and attack blue. But that's not great. I need blue to fight orange. Oh, come on. Hmm. What do we do here? If I push orange out of here, they have no choice but to start attacking over here, but I don't really want to hit their 13 stack. They might not appreciate that, and they might start wabamming my uh, bonus. Honestly, the fact that blue is getting plus 25 and has a kill guard on green means that orange and I kind of need to work together. We kind of need to work together. Blue has a bigger bonus than either of us, and they 100% ha have the kill guard on green, unless we like push through them somehow. We gotta work together here. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta work together against the bot here. I think Orange understands that I'm going for this bonus. They want to get out of my way. I like that. Orange, I, th I, I, I think Orange is probably an expert. I'm gonna, do I card trade in three for safety? Do I feel like I'm in danger of elimination? You don't, you can't card trade right here. I think I wait another round. I think we're okay. I don't think I need to trade for three here. Nobody's gonna eliminate me right now. I think we hit uh, this out of here. I think Orange understands I'm going for this bonus. And then we fortify back over to here. I think Orange and I both understand that we got to work together right now. I think Orange and I both had the intelligence from the beginning of the game to understand that, like, we, based on where my cap was and where their cap was, we either work together the whole game or we go to war and somebody else wins. That Those are the only two scenarios. I'm surprised that two has stayed alive this entire time. Hey, Cosmic, how you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? So I joined the Discord today. What's happening? All right. So we have gained another bonus here, which is great for us. Orange is an experienced enough a player that, like, they're probably not loving the fact that I'm getting more bonuses than them, but they understand that, like, sometimes it's better to have your ally, eventual enemy, um, get a slight advantage on you in bonus, as opposed to neither of you getting a bonus and then some dude across the board getting plus 25 a turn. You know, sometimes you gotta accept, like, alright, I might not be getting the biggest bonus, but at least both of us are getting a bonus. Although I'm lucky to be the one getting the bonus here. Green, stop it! Stop it, Green! Just stop it! <laughs> I've had enough of this bot fortifying here! <laughs> Cut it out! This, this bot, the bot wants this territory. The bot has this, and they want this. A 60 troop trade-in is massive. 160 versus 90, I don't think they win that. I think you're gonna go ahead and slam this. At any point... Orange wants to, they can self-destruct me and ruin my match. Also, same vice versa. I don't think that's going to happen. I think both of us are playing for the win. Here's the question. Are you trying to push the green bot out and 
I, I, so part of me suspects that Orange might be a more experienced and better player than I am. Like, I'm decent, but they might be even better. Um, I think we... I card trade him four. I don't, I don't feel like I'm in very much danger. I think we stack these here to get a card. And, uh, the card trades are getting big. I want to have more on my capital for safety. And, uh, I can go there. And then we'll go ahead and hit this. I, you know, I trust orange. I trust orange, so we're going to move that back that way. I could actually card trade with orange right here. You're doing good and fantastic. Glad you're having a good time. Any good shows you recommend? Oh, TV shows off the top of my head. Ooh. I'm always hesitant to tell you guys what I'm watching right now, because people will then watch it and then come back and spoil it. So I have to think of something that I've completely finished the show. I have to get back to you on that one. Um, ooh, four troops for green there, huh? Smoke some green, chilling out. Speaking of green, I need to not read that out loud. That's a TOS for YouTubes, technically. All right. Uh, offline still. Do we have green pushed out? Is a question. Bot is taking forever to take their turn. Does the bot always wait until like that part to make their moves? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, the bot. Just the bot. Luckily, the bot didn't have more troops, because so they could have gone through here and taken me out of there. I wonder if the bot pushed orange out of there. I doubt it. But the bot is, like, determined to have this. Plus 15 right there. I think the bot just pushed orange out of there. And there's no way. They had a 50 stack, right? There's no shot. They had, like, a 50 stack, right? But yeah, this, this is a tentative alliance with orange is doing great works for us. The bot waits 10 seconds? Okay, gotcha. 24 troops for us. Force trade on 5. I don't want to use my wild card. I'd rather keep that for myself. Selfishly. Plus 65 troops is huge. We... Alright. If you trade in like 70, 200 stack could take me out here. I need, I think, like 150 to keep protected against you, honestly. That always takes you like 300 to take me out, right? And the rest are going to go over here. And I'm going to need to be the one to push green out of this hot mess, I think. Um, If I can at all. I want green out of here if I, uh, as much as possible. Force them out of here. I don't know if we entirely can. Um, We're going to go ahead and... Oh, never mind. Well, we can force them out of this part of the woods. And let's move back to this way. Um, If the bot does decide to card trade, you know, maybe they go for this guy instead of me. I don't know. I just keep card trading here with orange, I suppose. It's good to have vision. So the bot has got some down here. I don't want to be the one to hit that 16 stack. I've already done a lot of work against them. 70 troop traded. We need to work the bot into actually fighting blue, I suppose, going for over here. We'll rank a CG. Um, well, I actually, like, you know, sweated for a rank for, like, a couple, like, two days. I got to expert. But I tend to play for content, which means taking dumb risks, which loses you games you probably should have won. So... I tend to hover around intermediate, sometimes beginner, if I'm really thrown for content. If I sweated my brains out for like two days, I could get to exit pretty quickly. It's not hard. All right, that depends on the settings, I guess. How many, what, how many per turn do you get? 32 troops per turn. Are you holding this? You might be. That's pretty bad. Yeah, it's all right. So the alliance between Orange is benefiting both of us, myself better. I like that position for me. Green, okay, so blue broke green's bonus back here. I wonder if they even took it from him. Wait, only three? They lost their capital, which means green's prime for elimination. Shame my stack's back here. Card trade three to eliminate green? You know what? Blue probably broke green, took their bonus, and has them kill guarded like back here or here, where, where the cap's at. So I don't think, I, th I think we don't bother. Trying to slam green here. You play like Grandmaster CG? Oh, thank you. Still learning, though. Still got a lot of learns to do. 15 for you. It occurs to me I pinned your 84 stack, but you can stack some there and hit there and fortify out, right? It's fine. All you gotta do is stack all 15 there. Attack, fortify forward. It's fine. This, this unspoken tentative alliance with orange we've just happened to have the entire match has been great for the two of us. The fact that green bought it out, huge for the blue player. Green going to war with Magenta and just feeding their territory to blue makes them huge. They're getting 32 a turn, mind you. Ooh, you're getting a uh, uh, 15, all right. Yeah, they're getting, like, our two stuff combined is equal to his. So if Orange and I ever 
stop working together. Oh, I think they might. Are they going to try to eliminate green? Are they trying to eliminate green? Are they trying to like push forward? Do they think I'm trying for that bonus? They, I, I mean, if they fortify forward and let me have this bonus, I'll take it now. They're fortifying something else, right? No shot. You're letting me take this bonus. <laughs> I think they're scared of me. <laughs> Do I card trade here? I'm not worried about blue coming in through me. I don't. I think we wait on the card trade in case the bot card trades. I don't think we're in a super lot of danger here. I mean, if you're gonna let me hold this bonus, like I'll take it. I don't know why. Guess you're. I mean, I guess I have a bigger army, and I did stack it next to yours. Maybe they're scared. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do this. You know what? I did for. I've been pushing my army next to his this whole time. I did stack my like one ten stack, whatever it was, next to eighty four. Maybe they're scared that I'm fixing to slam their stack out there. Ooh, uh, alliance. Must be homies. Oh, they moved away. Thank goodness. No, nope, no, nope, they might bring me here. They. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no, I wish I hadn't stacked my one thirty right there. The only point to go through. I wish I moved it back. Oh no, 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 no. Let's be buddies. Let's be buddies. Let's be buddies. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so lucky they didn't break me. I'm so lucky they didn't break me. To be fair, orange is like eighty four stacks in there, right? Unless they took that out. Oh man, that's. I mean, I do have four cards. They have to assume I have some of my capital. Like, if they're smart, they're keeping track of how many troops I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's why they didn't want to hit my 130 stack with 144 and lose probably like 100. Because then they're down to 40 and this 86 just follows them back. That's why. But that's also a terrifying thing. Now I, now I want to... If they've got a card trade on five, I'm card trading here. I'm card trading. They've got a trade on five. Makes theirs bigger, but I don't trust. I want more here to be even with you, sir. Um, and then we are going to do the little thing called this. We're going to hit over to here. And only... Oh, we found the capital. That's right. We, I forgot where that capital was. And um, fortify, I guess, this back, I suppose. And give Orange a spot to card trade over there. They keep that alive. You got 33 your turn. Uh, how many did I get? I, I also got 33, so I'm getting the same amount of troop ink. Oh, 90 troop trade. I'm getting the same amount of income as blue here. So, oh, man, I really, honestly, I think blue's best move last turn probably would have been to take that 144, slam my 130, push through everything, and not free my capital. Like, push through here, and then also break orange. And then just you know, leave the 154 to hit the 86 and keep our stuff ca trapped in the castle. The question is, do they know that Orange and I are kind of like, do they know about this unspoken alliance that Orange and I have, have had this entire time? Now it's too late, they can't. See, here's a, like, man. This just feels bad for Blue. Blue finally has dealt with green and magenta. I think Blue has this, this, and this. 15 over there. Didn't stack any there. I got, they're trying to keep their capital nice and safe. Here's the thing. I mean, Red and I keep on working together on blue benefits me the most. So I'm like, as long as long as Orange wants to keep working with me for whatever crazy reason, like I'm down. I'm benefiting more from this than anybody. Like this is just fantastic for me. I think Orange is waiting for me to lead the way. Wow, we need a lot more troops to deal with that. Um, I also want to attack in a bit more just to do some scouting. You know what I could do? Now that I think about it, I could go through here, break this. Oh, and actually break oh, like blue doesn't have this bonus. I could go like break blue's bonus here. Scout to see where the cap's at. I don't know where it's at. I could break a lot of blue's bonus. I could speed up the rate that we take out blue here, but the longer the three of us sit here card trading, the more I benefit from it. It just pulls me farther and farther away ahead from orange. Is blue getting... Blue and I are actually... Blue and I are getting the same amount. So the longer we do this, the farther and farther orange falls behind. So realistically, orange is the one who needs to advance the game. But the longer and longer we do this, the farther and farther orange falls behind. Oh, I need to car trade here. Keep this stack healthy. Um, let's get this up to, you know, some matchers maybe, I guess. Oh, 
do I break? Maybe we need to start breaking blue. And I'm the one to do it because I'm like, I think like it's my obligation to break blue here. I just want to do some scouting to see where everything's at. Found your capital over there. Now I know where it's at. Now, okay, and you've got 160 on each, so... What's the math on that? Um, now I know what's going on over here, so that's just protected cap there. So that's 320, 330, 435... You've got 530 troops on your caps, probably not too many elsewhere. I have more troops than blue. And a lot more than orange. I am in first place for the moment. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we want to do. Shaggy says he wants to hide a stack behind you. He wants to move out of the way. There's no way I'm moving my stack for Orange to hide behind me. Surprise! What's up, buddy? I mean, they could win that with good dice. They could win that with good dice. I mean, take the risk? No. And they move. They go back to trade. Ah, they're protecting. Smart, smart, smart. Okay. That was worth it just for me to realize. Capital here, capital here. And we knew this. Now the question is, how do we advance this stalemate? Because effectively, it's like there's no longer any fog of war. We know what they have everywhere. Do we just keep advancing this? I mean, I, I, like, how do we re decrease... The, we need to decrease the bonuses that or uh, they have, realistically. Um, Get this... I mean, one or two troops is not that big of a deal. Wait, how far back did they fortify? Oh, they didn't, they didn't, they went back to cap. I can just keep breaking them. I, I, I mean, keep having that knowledge, right? It hurts both of our troops fairly evenly. And that hurts their income by 10 troops, which gives me every turn that passes by 10 extra troops. So this just pulls me farther and farther ahead. Yeah, I mean, it forces them to keep fortifying this back over to there, making it hard for them to have one big stack, right? I thought they would fortify... I feel like their smartest move is to fortify this 297 right there. But then again, you don't really want your stuff to be off of cap, right? Should I make a backup stack behind your main? If you lose that, you lose instantly the weakest. If somebody, like, if Blue goes through and slams my 352 stack over here, that's kind of just it. Like, if I lose my 352 over here, it's kind of like GG. Orange is sitting back. I think Orange's plan here is just to sit back and have us go to war and waste troops fighting each other. Honestly, at this point, I don't want to betray Orange. Even if it costs me the match and I get second place, like, I just, I feel I owe so much to Orange. We owe so much to each other, honestly. Let's go ahead and keep, like, pressing our advantage. And, uh... Do what needs to be done here. If you're, I can. I don't have to break in as far. Actually, I can keep your cap trapped there and still break you. What am I thinking? Yeah, I just uh, broke you, and I kept your capital traps. So you can't like. I mean, they can. Just, it doesn't matter. They stack right here. Boom, boom. Get it back. But now you can't bring some terrifying 300, 400, 400 Yeah, if I broken this, they could put that one hundred ten right there and brought four hundred through and then beat my three eighty two right. So that does help a little bit. Always play for first, second. I'm definitely playing for first. If I get second, because I'm to be a homie to orange, then so be it. Ooh, you're fortifying forward. Oh, you're trying to... Oh, you're car blocking. You're car blocking. That's a car block for orange. Wait, orange can trade over here. If you think I won't slap a 311 second... No, not my territory. No, 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 no. Trade with him, not me. If you think I won't slap a... Th you're at that 311? Okay, they're going to card trade over there. So this would be orange and blue card blocking me. Is what this would be. I can card trade with orange if need be. But honestly, I'm just going to slap that 311 stack. Yeah. Do I have a card trade? Uh, is, this, is that different than that? I don't know. Cards are weird here. Alright. I, I mean... I'm... Like, troop-wise, I think... Blue and I are about even. I'll take that attack response and a card trade. That one is different, that one. Yeah. I am going to slam this. Orange loves the alliance between me and them. So do I. If you think I won't slap that 311 stack, you're like, you're, you're tripping. You're tripping if you think I won't slap that. There we go. Do I yoink the cap? Do I give up my bonuses? I don't think that I do. 
I think I keep this here for defense. Orange can keep card trading over there with blue for all I care. I will stack... Yeah... 50 in there. I mean, if they want to take it back, make them earn it. And I'll then fortify this back over to here. You know, keep it right. That'll hurt their income a little bit without me having to push up there. I actually should have attacked up there and broken that as well, now that I think about it. That's fine, though. There we go. Love that for us. I could actually try and push... I, yeah, we could push blue out of here and card block blue. Fortify away. This could work out for us. I feel like them stacking everything right there was a big mistake. That does even the board to where Orange and I are similar in troops. I should try to avoid... Fighting uh, orange too, or blue too much here. Orange's strategy of sit back and let, let everybody to fight is working pretty good. I need to put more of my capital. Orange is getting pretty healthy up there. Orange, if orange st stabs me in the back here, it's rain heck fire upon them. Um, honestly, I want to uh, protect my capital more. Keep that bit safe back there. We need that. We do this. A little bit of this. Four five back over to here. Quite the long match here. Twenty four for blue, but now blue is even with my, without even without me going to like do stuff up here. Uh, they're no longer um. They're no longer getting thirty three a turn, so I'm like benefiting more from uh, the bonuses. The longer we sit here card trading right here, because before when they had this cap, it was I get thirty three, they get thirty three. Now I think they're still broken over here, but we all keep trading. Right here, I just keep every round that passes by. I'm getting like 15 lead on you, like eight lead on them, right? Our 20 troop trade in. If they wanted, they could go in and slap my cap and probably take it, but could easily lose 300 troops. And then that at that point, I would just self destruct on them, and then blue would clean up because blue still has like 400 troops back there. 35 for us. Do I try to push blue out of here? Not yet. I don't want to antagonize blue to like send more troops forward just yet. Uh, 711, it would not be hard. Uh, let's, well, let's wait on it for now. I think maybe next turn or the turn after, when I have a card trade, I think. When, or after blue trades in. After blue trades in, we then take the time to, like, push them out of here. And, uh, we card trade with orange in here, with this stack back here. I'm not worried about, if I fortify this over to here, and uh, orange, like, oh, orange could, if I stack it there, orange could break you like this way. Orange could have broken me like this the entire game, right? I feel like orange could benefit from trying to, like, grab this plus six. Could help, right? But yeah, blue moving, like, 300 troops forward, whatever it was like that. And I had a card trade on the thing that was three. That was rough for them. So how do I path through this? Stack here. I need to yeah, let's go through it this way. Card trade on three can't, so we don't do it yet. I want to wait for blue to card trade before I make any funny try and deny them card trade options moves, right? See what they do. I don't want to I don't want them to card trade and be forced to slam my stack. I want them to have the opportunity to like make a mistake or something, right? Just pull it, take it easy, keep that stack nice and healthy. Harder for you to bring in some massive thing to deal with me. The longer, honestly, the longer uh, we do this, the more we start to pull back ahead. I should put more over here. The more we start to pull ahead of orange again. Because losing us losing 300 each kind of even the board. So, you know, five or eight rounds of us card trading gives me that safety ahead of orange to feel safe to hit blue again effectively. You are trading on four for how many? 125, yikes. I can also trade in four. Oh, that would give you like four, I don't know, 50. I'm just estimating over here. Takes my cap, loses you a bunch. But guess what? I could easily take my 260 stack, slam you, card trade for 133, and slam you and self-destruct. I think if, if at any point Orange decides they want to try and take my cap, it's just a self-destruct. Orange, please don't bot out. I need you, Orange. Please don't bot out. Please don't bot out, Orange. You can do so much damage to me. Okay, they're still here. Good. <laughs> Maybe they'll take a bathroom break. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. I needed them to not bot out. 35 troops. Uh, do I card trade here? 
Yeah, blue card trades. They, yeah, I need to card trade here. They can have the extra five. We card trade, and maybe that's enough to hold against blue here. And orange can card trade behind me. We do this. We hit this. We leave three. We hit this. We leave oh, 12. We hit this. Do I break them? I don't break them, though. I don't break them, though. And you hit this. Just want them out of here. I don't want to... I mean, I, do I break them? It's just less troops for them. I don't want to antagonize them any further by breaking their uh, bonus, I don't think. Now, orange and I can card trade back here. We can card block blue, which would be huge. Love my videos. Hey, glad you enjoy, uh, Slim. Glad you enjoy. All right, so you can't hit me for a card. Question is, can you get a card off? You've got two cards here. The question is, are you card blocked right now? Depends what's going on here with orange. If orange and I can card block blue, that is insane. The question is, if slash when is going is orange going to betray me and start working with blue against me? Will that happen at all? Will they accept second? Will they are they sitting back crossing their fingers hoping that orange and I saw, they did not we have them card blocked. They're card blocked. Blue did not get a card. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. I feel at the very least, at the very least, it does benefit Orange to card block Blue because right now Orange is in last on bonus and troops. So if Orange sticks with this card blocking situation we have on Blue and card trades with me right here, that elevates them to second place. And then if they want to try and get first, they can then, once they're in second place, try and like work with blue against me or betray me. If, if I feel like betray me in third, bad idea. Betray me when they're in second, a possibly better move. I will put one here to grab that. These for safety over here, because I, I know orange. They may betray me eventually. It is a concern. Let's keep stacking over there. But if blue stays card, card block for a few turns here that's very good for us very very good indeed orange is playing for set you think orange is playing for second it's possible it could be it's possible some people will do that plus 15 troops but i don't ever bank on somebody playing for second there is always a possibility that somebody is playing for uh first and they're just incredibly patient some people will sit here playing a single match for like three plus hours. I've seen it. It's crazy. Didn't watch the whole thing, obviously, but people will do it. So I think I think no matter what place I get here, first, second, third, I'm still going to make a video of this anyways, because this is this has been something of a match, right? Hmm. Where did you stack your troops? You card traded. You've got some you've got some troops in here. They're working around in here. I think they're working on getting this plus six, so they've got like a stack right here, because they didn't stack there. They card traded. They wouldn't stack there. I think they're I think they've got a foothold in the music area, which is why this guy's not getting as many troops, right? Alright, um I'm going to match what you have there. Actually, no, I'm gonna put Yeah, just those right there in case in case we misclick or something. And these go here. Hey, Matt, it worked out evenly. Perfect. Perfect. And then we fortify these over to here. If I had to guess, I would say blue had... Oh, they're down to 11. Oh, they broke his bonus. Orange came in through here and broke the bonus, I think. Oh, please don't be card trading with them. They're not. Oh, that's huge. 736. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to force the card trade. That's honestly a good move from blue. They're either about to force the card... Oh, they're going to self-destruct on me. I need to move my troops back onto a cap. I need to move my troops back onto a capital. Yep. And they're posturing to go for me. Wait, no, orange broke them. They can go either direction. They could go for either one of us. Problem is, orange only loses this bonus and has a cap to defend, whereas I will just lose my 423 stack and all my bonuses. I think that's a fantastic play by blue, and we have no choice but to let them back into the car trade scenario. That's just all there is to it. Um... Did I move back here to protect my bonuses? Oh, I need a card trade on four. Card trade on four would have been huge. I, I think we just accept that we might be about to lose our bonuses here. We might be about to move around the board a little bit. I think we are going to Vamoose 
out of the way. Uh, gotta get out of there. Full retreat to the cap. And we are going to... Oh, come on. Let him on through, boys. So now we know Blue has, I guess, about 759 troops there. Yup, there it goes. They're gonna break every bonus I have, I would imagine. Yep, not it. That's that's to be expected. They run through, break every bonus I have, and also claim them myself. To be fair, I was the one most antagonistic towards them. I was the one who like secured the card block against them, and they're trying to grab this bonus as well. I'm not gonna worry too much about this. You have got like 750 troops total. I've got 875 total. I'm still like a hundred, like 50 troops more than you, and I've got 140 card trade in. Honestly, I feel at this point. Wait a second. What if I were to go in and yoink your caps? Like, you had some nice caps over here. You had a cap that actually protects a plus four bonus. It's not a lot, but if we're going to go around slamming each other's territories, a cap that protects a bonus is good here. They break everything I have here. That's fine. I think we go through... We we go through, send, like, a 20 stack to go through and break everything, break these behind them so they don't have these two bonuses. And, um... Ooh, they're stacking my cap. I th here's the problem. I think Blue's fixing to self-destruct on me. This is the problem. We might be forced into second place here because we angered Blue. And looks like Orange is going in to steal those because turn order and advantage. Orange might end up getting first here if Blue self-destructs on me. Hit the 700 before it hits you? No. If it hits me, it'll lose like 500 troops, right? That's far. If they're gonna, if Blue's gonna self-destruct on me, and I want to take Orange out afterwards, I need to have Blue hit me as inefficiently as they can. Um. So we stack even more here for them to lose all their troops and me, you know. And then I gotta deal with Orange at the same time somehow. So we're gonna hit this here, like so, and we're gonna hit you over here, and send like that many through. And you are going to just go ahead and. Your purpose is just to break them, honestly. And then you are going to, I guess, hit this for uh, the bonus. This is what Orange's plan was all along. Wait for us to self-destruct on each other. And uh, I don't want you sneaking up behind me. And can I grab this cap back here? Oh, three, six, seven. You got the same amount of stuff as I do. I don't think I want to anger you. I don't want to anger Orange when Blue's already mad at me. Also, I'd lose a lot of troops slamming them. They're going to slam my capital now, right? Or are they going to try and, like, switch it up? Oh, they're changing their mind. Nope, they're just focused on... No, they're not going for my capital. Okay. Maybe they're taking their time to try and damage my troops as much as they can to aid Orange. I think they've decided that... I'm the one that car blocked them. Orange broke them here, but I've definitely been much more ant antagonistic towards them. I think Blue's mission now is to make me lose. So we're now fighting a 2v1. The sooner we get rid of Blue, the better, right? Or, no, instead, we hold the caps and we work on taking out Orange somehow. Like, if I can f be strong enough to defend against Blue, or we try to get a car block going against somehow. I don't, th I don't think a car block's gonna happen at this point. You have like 300 there of uh, seven they have 800 troops i have a thousand you have 700 hmm yeah yeah well, blue's going around crippling my bonuses and trying to get territory bonuses hmm, maybe oh man go for a cap run i don't know i can't he's got 800 on caps i would need like what 2000 to break that i can't they're trying to get that bonus I can't, I can't do a 2v1. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't beat a 2v1, but it's going to cost me like 600 troops to deal with you, which leaves me 400 to your 800. If I go through to take out blue, I just lose, right? I need blue to attack my cap. That's all there is to it. I need to have blue attack my cap. There's really no other way. And I need to not let you have this bonus if I can help it. Um, I can't get that cap, and that cap protects that from you. I can go through that way. Uh, let's try one of these. And... Keep stacking more there. I want to make sure... Uh, do I give you a path back to break this bonus? I mean, you just break it anyways from over there, right? Um, we just go ahead and pop this over here. Make sure you're not getting any bonuses either, right? I mean, actually, 
there's no bonus there for you to have, right? Well, it's whatever. It's, I don't really care uh, about that. And, oh, we need to hit this. I don't want you having this bonus. Fortify this back over to here. We are now in a 2v1 scenario. 2v1 scenario. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Basically, my best chance of winning this right now is just to hope that Blue either bots out or slams my cap. That's what I need to have happen. Blue has gotten very emotional. Or there's a chance that, you know, give Blue 10 or 15 minutes and they calm down. Shouldn't have given a path back, but they could have stacked it right there anyways. There's a chance that blue calms down. So, ah, see, now we have something. Now we have something. See, we just gotta be patient. Maybe blue's calming down. And, okay, they're like, okay, I get, they give up this corner. They move over here. And now we have a situation where maybe they're trying to car block. Maybe we can keep things copacetic with orange and cartridge right over here. Maybe. Um, perhaps we can card with it. I don't want to free that cap from you. I mean, if you want to break me, you can't either way. I think... What do I do here? I need blue to just calm down and get off my back. I need to get a card. I don't want to break your t plus 10. Well, I've already antagonized you by breaking these, right? Well, I can't... I need to... I mean... Oh, man. Maybe they've calmed down? I don't know. I don't know really what to do here. Um... Kind of want to start working on getting you out of this scenario all possible get some more vision on the board and whatnot uh, so I think blues I think blue was planning to maybe slam me or hoping I would attack them but now they've calmed down and they're like hey maybe I can still win this and they've like the fact that they're not breaking me over here signals to me that like they've calmed down and they're like hey I was pushing them around in this corner they push their way out, now they're like, okay, now we can go back to, like, friendly car trading terms. They've, they've calmed down. I think we got some pretty veteran players around here. Pretty veteran players. Lou doesn't want to open your cap? That's also possible that they just don't want to open my cap. That's a distinct possibility, but the reality is they're no longer slamming me incessantly. Do we have a thousand troops even? We do, from a brief moment there. We trade these right here. And... We stack these, well, we put a few over here. Stack these over here. If we can stop orange from car trading in here, that'd be good. I think that would be nice. Make sure they're not in here for the car trades. I want to make sure they're not hiding up here somewhere. All right. Just had to make sure they weren't up in there, so... For the moment, we know they're not up there. Good. We can go back to car trading. I mean, anytime Blue wants a car, they can break me for it, but... Well, now you have another cap freed, right? How many troops are you getting per turn? 23, I'm getting 13. Oh, uh, we're down to third place on bonuses. I'm the one pinned into the bad bonus situation right now all of a sudden. Well, maybe that calms things down a little bit. This, me being a situation where I'm getting the worst in terms of bonuses is better than a situation where I'm fighting blue and orange at the same time. Like, this is an improvement for me from where we were like three minutes ago. If I have to get 10 less troops per turn, uh, then so be it. Uh, that's that's better than where we were at. I came back and you rotated your position. Oh, I didn't mean to. Uh, I was forced out of the way. <laughs> Blue was fixing to self-destruct on me, so I had to kind of a moose. Okay, orange is pushing me out of here. Are you going to try and grab and hold this bonus? Oh, am I about to get card traded? Or card block? You, you can't card block me. I'm right, I can just hit this. Oh, the, oh, how the tables have turned. Now I'm, the, now I'm the one being ganged up upon. Let's see, fortifies that back. I mean, that's not a good move on your part. All right, well, I guess I'll, I'm going to hit your bonus then, I guess. Or, uh, do I card trade in three? I mean, might as well at this point, right? Save it for when I need it. I can get my card this turn without a problem. I mean, just force the card trade over here, right? Boom. And get some knowledge of what's on the board. It's back over to here. And I'll break your bonus. You should try to kill Blue. No way. What are you talking about? They had 700 troops. This guy had 800. I had maybe 1,000. If I took out Blue, I lose 500 troops. Now I've got 
300 less troops than orange, and orange just beats me. Taking out blue would have been a guaranteed second place. That's it. If I had taken out blue, second place. Ooh, hello, blue. Poking in there, all right. I see. Fourth time back, the one big stack. They like having, th they like this spot because they it gives them a bead on my cap and a path over to this cap. It's a good, good position. Second's better than the third. First is better than second. We played a win around here. They break me for a card. So they want their cap to have the path to go through. They're gonna break my bonus. Here's a problem. This is what I knew would happen eventually. The, the relations with Orange have broken down. And they're, tr they're fixing, the, and now they're trying to card block me. That's what's happening. I'm not gonna card trade yet, I don't need to. I am getting hurt on the bonuses quite a lot. We're gonna put these here. Gonna hit this like so. Now went from orange. It went from orange and myself ganging up on blue to now blue and orange and ganging up on me. I think orange didn't appreciate the fact that I broke a few of their bonuses over there. They might not have, they might not understand that I was, you know, they didn't probably realize what blue was doing stacking up here to me and realize I was fearing the uh, 2v1. And also I was breaking their bonuses. They might be thinking simply in terms of, um, I don't know, like, they might be thinking more simple terms, like, we were the homies, and then he broke it. Now I hate him forever. Depends on how evolved their mind is. Although I feel like, based on how they played, they're a pretty evolved player. Alright, so... I think this is probably... I think... You had, like, 400 here. I don't think you moved it off. I think they've got this, and this is, like, 1,100 troops. Yeah, 5, 12, 13, 38 at least. You've got probably 1,350, 1,400 troops. Orange is now ahead of me on troops. 8, 9, 10, 11, and blue and I are almost tied. I'm in second. Orange is in the lead by far. First card trade here. 175, that catches me up a little bit. I guess I'm about, with that card trade, I'm even on troops with you. Um, I guess we just keep card trading over here and see what happens, I suppose. Um, let's put just enough there. These go here. And I just keep card trading and wait to see how things play out, I guess, because I can't beat the two of you. I can't beat the two of you. I can, that's not possible. I need to try and repair relations with both of you as best as possible and hope that relations between the two of you break down. But unfortunately, now it went from me and Orange getting up on Blue uh, to Blue forcing their way out. I mean, to be fair, I could do the same thing and force my way out down here, right? You know, stack a bunch here and force my way out. Were you fixing to grab this? I mean, technically you could win that, but... None of that. You'd lose so many troops, it wouldn't be worth it. Question is, are you card blocking me again down there or not? Trade on three. I, I mean, it's not much point in winning, right? We do this. And... I mean, I could stack here and just beat this and blue be gone. I don't want to go... I want to go for first, though, if at all possible. I think we stack... Actually, let's only put one here. I don't want you to have vision of what I'm putting over here. Well, you're going to find it anyways, right? But I just want to see what your... Uh, did you four-file all the way back? Nah, I didn't think you did. Yeah, Orange is now playing antagonistic towards us. But what I can do is I can, just, you know, keep stacking my two stacks, my two caps. Be really hard to eliminate. Easier than Blue, because Blue has no caps. And, um, yeah. Blue trying to card block me. You can't. Push, push, come, best you can do is stack 500 here, 500 here. And I just hit one of your 500 stacks. Take out blue? No, no. Reading old messages. So how do we recover this? How do we recover this? How do we, how do we, how do we secure a first out of this? I need to get more bonuses. I need to, I need to relocate. I need to relocate. I need to relocate somehow to a better position. I uh, can't do it this turn. All right, well, we'll just do this. Hit over here. Like so. Only three, 664. Feel like we're kind of similar here. Wait for them to pull blue. Yeah, I have to either wait for these guys. Like, these guys are not going to go to war with each other. It's... Orange is not, like, I know Orange, when he chooses to form an alliance with somebody, becomes, like, the most loyal person to ever exist. And that's what, so, they were that with me, but now they're gonna be that with Blue, I think. 
is the problem. I mean, I have to either de-escalate with blue somehow, which they seem disinclined to do. Or I have to, um... Like, yeah, what do, like, what do I... How do, how do I advance this? The thing is, I'm no longer in the position to advance the game. When I was the f in first place on both troops, or close to... I think it was first place in troops. I think maybe blue was higher for a while, but... When I, whoever's in, whoever has the most troops and the biggest bonus is the person to advance the game, and it's not me. 33 troops. Orange has the most troops and the biggest bonus. It's up to Orange to advance the game. It's up to Orange to make things happen. That's all there is to it. All I can do is just sit back here and wait for Orange to do their job. To, to realize it's up to them to advance the game. So, all I can do is sit here card trading. Thusly, waiting for one of them to make the move. It's... That's it. Or, I think of where I want to move to for a better position. To increase the number of bonuses that I have. They're going over here. They wanted to see what I had over here. Well, they just freed my capital. So I can move... I, I can have my capital slam through. They got like 200 there. I'm... I'm the th problem is, if I hit there... The only thing I can defend on right now is caps. Because he has his 1130 stack. Wait, his... Uh, if I try to grab a bonus... He just fortifies over there, right? Well, no, he has all of these. I could roll through, grab all this, grab all of this. And if it's just a one stack there, move back. But then next turn, he just breaks it back. Sacrifice the lower capped orange and take blue out of the bottom of the map? I mean, that could work. The problem is... Blue's shown he's more than willing... If I, like, if we try to force blue around, they're just going to push this 1130 fortified down to here. And then bully their way through with an 1130 stack. I can't block a, a, tr a one... If I had a cap here, I could, right? Alright, well, let's just go ahead and put these here. Stack this here, I guess. Hit that. I can, like, I can't block blue from anywhere when they have a 1000 stack they're willing to roll. Right? I would, if, if blue would get out of my way, I would love to move this 850 stack down to here, maybe? Is that good? I don't know. That's it. If I... The problem is, if I make a move against blue, orange wins. Blue is on tilt, or they were for a little bit, and they'll go on tilt again. Their patience is probably running thin. If I antagonize blue at all, it just ends poorly for me. I need to somehow... I need to somehow, like, get a card trade going with blue over here. And force uh, orange to be in a position where their card blocked. That's what I gotta do. We're all waiting for other people to fight. That's what's going on here. So what I'm gonna do... Card trade. Um, orange will eventually run out of cards to have over there. We do this. And we need to... Uh, Orange might just slap my 200, though, but that, that's still progressing the game here. Um, I don't think Blue's going to understand that we're trying to card trade over here. Maybe I can free their them a path over? Then fortify this back onto my cap? Give Blue some options? Maybe Blue can see that as a path in over there? I mean, they already have a path in. This gives Blue an option to move here. And then we can card trade back here, or Orange can't reach. Or somewhere? Like, there's gotta be somewhere Blue can position themselves. Oh, do it! Do it! Yes! Attack my capital! Yeah, they're on tilt, I attacked a couple of their territories, now they're thinking about going for me. If they do this... And hit, hit, hit me with everything? Maybe that's just a bluff. I think that was a warning. I didn't break their bonus. I don't know why they're mad about these four territories. Maybe they're thinking? Probably, uh, if they fortify right back here, they don't understand what we're trying to do. Ooh, they're for they, ooh, they fortified away. Probably over to here. Oh, they're leaving it. Oh. Interesting. I think we have... I, I don't know what's going on in Blue's brain, but something about attacking those four territories. I had them first think about self-destructing me. But then they moved away? I don't know. 
I, I have no idea what's, go what's going on here. But maybe, maybe, maybe Blue is like on board with like the two of us trying to car block Orange? I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. It's gonna be hard to car block Orange. I can try and grab this bonus back, or at least find out if they left their stack in here somewhere or not. I wouldn't mind having this back. Alright, well, let's just see if I can get my bonus back here. And we will try the slider nice and low. Orange is over there. Ooh, or oh wait, I don't do I really care about the capital? Keeping orange from having I mean they can just go through here, so it doesn't matter. I kinda wanna get my thing back here. Let's give uh seven uh that there. We hit this here. Try and get my bonus back there. You should understand it's going for my bonus. And we don't go this way. We just let them know, like, hey, I'm trying to get my stuff back. Oh, I actually I had access there. That's fine. We do this. Um, oh, that level doesn't reach up to here. Okay, whoops. Thought it did. Oh, well. A few fortifies saves all this. Good luck. I don't understand what's going on in Blue's brain. I don't understand what's going on in Blue's brain. They left the area. I see. Blue's on tilt. Blue's on tilt. I thought Blue fortifying away was them having a, a mature mind. Where the hell such troops come from? I thought them fortifying away was them having a mature mind. I don't understand. I th my plan was them leaving was okay. The two of us will share this bonus, I, or I'll have this bonus. You have these bonuses. But I, I think Blue, if if Blue doesn't understand that, I think they're either really on tilt or the they're in a very tilted emotional state. Um, I think we're going to need to take out Blue and accept second here. I think you should give him the cap. I don't have a choice to give him the cap. He's blocking me in. If he wants the cap, get out of my way. All right, so I am I think at this point, we c Blue, it's orange and blue versus me, and I can't win. So we stop wasting our life and accept second place because blue, through the emoting there, has communicated to me that they are. They're done. So we question mark. All right. Well, we wait for we wait for numerical advantage. Um, it's going to take us a few turns to make the 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 win versus uh, blue happen here. I think we need to get a card somewhere. So let's go ahead and attack this over to here. I mean, if we're if if it's like game over with blue, let's just go ahead and uh, break their bonuses, right? If it's, I was trying to repair, like, yeah, you're mad, but you're already mad at me and you're not going to calm down. So I like, what am I, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, Blue? What do you want me to do, Blue? Ever since you moved through here, you have been nothing but antagonistic towards me. You moving away through here was your first action of like showing peace between us. And I tried to, okay, we're going to be buddies. I'll claim this bonus. You can slam on me, my capital. There it is. We take our second place. We take our second place. Go ahead. No, you're not. You're gonna come through this way and it's, oh, you're gonna slap this capital. No, going this way. I don't know what you're doing. I mean, them taking this capital. Uh, I mean, I, I can work with this, I guess. This progresses the game. They lost 1554 troops. <laughs> I get destroyed. I can't believe they lost 1500 troops to my 600. Oh, baby. Get bodied. But Orange is like. Blue decided we lose, unfortunately. I guess that's the danger of car blocking them when I wasn't significantly stronger than them. Ah, man. I mean, they're so weak now, they can't do a lot to us damage-wise. I could try and get some bonuses back and break Orange's bonus. I don't know how, like, I think I've got 1260. I lost, like, 700. You've got to have, like, 2,000-plus troops. I don't... I don't think there's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, there's... you got 2,000 right there. There's nothing I can do to to beat orange right now they've got over they've got over two thousand troops and they'll be forming the turn order i can't actually beat them per se all i can try to do is uh take out blue here we need to eliminate blue this turn were they up here is the, is the question we take out blue and it's accept second place i don't even I don't know if i had enough time uh hit this they were not up there okay we hit do these connect i think they all do hit this we take out blue for second place. I pinned myself in the corner. I thought these connected. All right, fine. If we're lucky. Uh, oh, he didn't stack his two caps together, so he can't. I thought he stacked. I, I thought he put two thousand there, and he was gonna slam my cap. Okay. I, th I 
I wish it was more clear which connect. I guess this is a little bit thicker of a border there. That was my turn to take out blue. When they did not they did not have a card trade. If orange hits this and opens me up, I can go through and get blue and take my second place. I'd be happy with the second place at this point. We could have had second place a lot sooner, but well, I wasn't expecting orange to go full tilts and destroy me because I I card blocked you for two turns 20 minutes ago, man. Like, let it go. <laughs> let it go, man. Let it go. Like. I, I mean, this and this is why this is how all the grandmasters play. Just sit back and be unoffensive and be hyper patient to let other people like me start fights with other people because this is how you win. This is how you win risk. Let other people get bored, go on tilt, fight each other, and then you just sit back and clean up. This guy, this orange guy probably wins most matches they play because it's all you got to do. Sit back, be friendly with anybody. Don't be antagonistic. Well, there you go. I can't go through and deal with blue right now because unfortunately I need a, a path in my blocked in my cap there so instead we will uh, keep attacking over I uh, put the wrong spot I put in the wrong spot I can't even get a card oh, I thought this attacks over here I hate these stupid like make it a different color make this green for a doorway and black for can't go through so I know where I can go where I can't I don't know why I thought you go for there no card for me this turn yeah, all right fine we'll f uh, if I fortify off your 980 actually can't slam me it's blocked I think we fortify off and try to eliminate uh, blue like we should have last time you're cry laughing. I'm just gonna mute you. You're just get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. This guy's this guy's whole mission is to um make me lose because I car blocked him for two turns. You realize that Orange was also ganging up on you with me? There were two of us here. Orange is just as guilty for you getting ganged up on that 2v1. And yet you're dead set on me because I car blocked you for two turns and you can't ever let that go even after I try to, like, de-escalate things with you. All right, all right. Mind of a child, huh? All right. Or just incredibly on tilt. Same thing, honestly. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I gave him the cap. I gave him the cap. Honestly, that's fine. That's still a second place because I had more troops than blue. So we, that, that actually sped up the second place. We take that. Yep. Intermediate. Could have could have fooled me. Played like a beginner. Master. Yep, yep. Master. Master expert. Hey. I, I outlasted a master and an expert, and we lost to a master. The only, the, the only way this master was able to beat me is that it took two of them to beat me. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We take that. But that's where we're going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya!